Hey Kryptonauts, welcome back. So I want to talk about where I put my crypto, one of the spots I use. I have a few spots, but I've been using Voyager lately. So say you're mining, which we're all doing. We're mining away. We're putting in an ether mine in the pool. Or we're doing Dagger Hashimoto, which is the nice hash pool. And then we pull the money out. So with um, Ethermine, you can set up your wallet where you want it to be, uh, you know, withdrawn to. You can say, here's my address. And I use Voyager. And why do I use Voyager? Because when you have crypto in Voyager, you're also gaining interest. They give you a flat interest based on the coin. And you just have to hold a like a minimum amount each month a consistent you know at least this level and i'll show you that in a second and you will earn interest on that crypto now what's better is i'll show you as well as they have a rewards program if you buy their voyager token which has shot up uh it's it's doing quite well if you buy their token like say 500 i'll, I'll we'll go through it but you you can get extra interest added across the board on all your crypto it's really kind of a sweet deal. So for the uh, for nice hash, so the, the the gotcha is uh, when you get your payout. It's kind of maybe smart. Depends on what you have, how much you're moving. Is you get one free withdrawal a day with no fees of your Bitcoin to Coinbase because I think they have a deal going right. They have an association somehow. So I did that for my first payout to see if it did work, and I made a quick video on that. So it was indeed zero fees to move from NiceHash to Coinbase. Now, the problem with that, for my my plan, is that Coinbase really doesn't pay you anything in interest on your crypto you hold in your wallets on, on Coinbase. They don't pay you nothing. And uh, I don't like that. I mean, but I just wanted to make sure I could actually move it from NiceHash to Coinbase as a proof that, all right, that's good. To move it to Voyager or BlockFi, there'd be a small fee. Nothing as bad as that GUE gas fee that Ether, Ether, um, Ethereum charges. And then uh, that goes into another note I made a video on. Is I think BlockFi was the first to announce that they're going to stop their um, free withdrawals of Ethereum without fees. You know, free, free, no fees because of the insane, ridiculous uh, gas fees for moving Ethereum around. It just was cost prohibitive for BlockFi and these other platforms to give free transfers. It's just ridiculous. Even to move out of Ethermine, you set your uh, payout level, your gas fee, and you hope one day it hits. And it depends how much you want to pay. I, I had it at 40 forever, and I was getting a little nervous because I was getting too much money mined in the Ethermine pool. So I, I did, actually, I, I balked it and went up a little, so it cost me maybe five or six, six bucks maybe to move it, which I can't remember, 70 guay, 60, 60 guay. I, I, I just got nervous because I didn't want to have too much money sitting in that pool and had I had no expectation it would go down to 40. But um, next time around, I'm going to keep it around 50. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to give I don't want to give too many fees because what's the point then of doing this if you're paying fees on all these things like um, uh, Ether, uh, Ethermine and stuff like that and and uh, rig monitors like Hive OS and stuff and even IceHash. So that's why I do I do nice hash, but I do unmanaged rigs, where I just mine to the Dagger Hashimoto pool and collect Bitcoin. Uh, they don't manage the rigs at all. I run them all on Windows right now, and I kind of like it. It hasn't been too much work, but I can see as things grow, I can see adding maybe a a uh, crypto rig manager. Maybe I don't know. I need to just first make some money first. All right, so let's go back to Voyager. So here's Voyager. I'm in it. I can swear by it. And uh, I do have an affiliate program. If you sign up, you know, and make a buy, I get money, you get money, and we all win, and my dog gets to eat, right? That's the way I look at it. So I do like Voyager. I do like it a lot. And uh, let's go through it. All right. Uh, let your crypto work for you. With the uh, Voyager Earn program, you can actually trade and earn rewards at the same time there. You can go there. Here's the site. Now, it runs just on the uh, app, on the uh, devices right now. They, they have a web coming, whereas BlockFi runs on your device, and they have a web, a desktop web. All right, let's keep going. So I've, I've been in the Voyager program for, I think, at least four months, and I love getting the interest every month, and you get the interest paid out to you each month in the coin you're holding. 
which is kind of sweet. Uh, how it works, we're currently offering rewards on the assets below. Uh, when you hold a minimum monthly balance on your Voyager account, that's what I mentioned. So here's all the coins they deal with and the uh, rewards. They call them rewards, I just call it interest. So look at this. So you, let's talk about USDC, US dollar coin, it's, you know, based on the USD fiat. I don't know you, but let's just say I had 5,000 bucks sitting in my money market or my bank account basically losing money due to the incredibly 35 percent inflation whatever we have right now something you know the government's lying to us it's at least triple what they're saying because they're fudging the numbers so you're losing money sitting in a bank account i said i can't this is stupid you know all this cash i'm just it's just whittling away every month with you know with the inflation and devaluation oh, it's just crazy so i said enough i moved let's say exam i moved that over to um I moved the fiat over to Voyager, then I buy USDC, and now each month on that US dollar coin, which maps to the one, you know, the US fiat, I get nine percent. And you just have to hold a hundred dollars each month. I'm like, what? So you put in five K, ten K, I mean, geez, that's nine percent versus zero point zero 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 one that these these uh, crook crooked banks are giving you. No, no way, I'm done with that. I moved it over to USDC, put a lot of fiat into USDC, and then I, from there, if I need to buy stuff like Bitcoin or something, I can just sell USDC to dollar. Based on the dollar, I can then buy Bitcoin. That's that's how I roll. That's how I roll right now. Now that's decent. That's that's that alone is what said I. That's the one way to win, to you know play the game. At least don't lose all your money to inflation. All right, Voyager token. This is their token. You get seven percent on that. Uh, Bitcoin, you get five point seven five percent. And you just have to hold in your account 0.01, at least 0.01 Bitcoin. Now, Voyager is better than BlockFi. BlockFi limited how much interest you can get over a certain amount of Bitcoin you hold. If you have a lower amount, you'll get paid out. I don't know what they're going on there, what's happening with BlockFi. It sounds like they're reinventing them. So I don't know. I just don't know enough. It just seems like they're changing their plans around. And it's confusing words. Voyager's been solid. Hold this much Bitcoin, get this interest, and if you get the Voyager token, you may get more than that. They add on to it. So you say you're 5.75 and you have 0.01 Bitcoin. Oh, I also have Voyager token, this much of it. Therefore, you qualify for an extra 1%, 1 so you could get 6.75% on Bitcoin. And what does that mean? Every month you get paid that in Bitcoin. It's just compounded. It's just normal interest. It's beautiful. Compounding is awesome. Uh, there's the other one, Litecoin. I do I do own Litecoin, so I get 3.5 there. Ethereum, so Ethermine, my money gets paid out after I pay that horrible Gwei gas fee. It gets paid over to Voyager, and then I start earning 4.6 or probably 5.6 because I'm in the Voyager token reward thing. So I get 5.6 right away on my money. I'm not complaining, and I just have to have 0.5 ETH. I don't even know what I have. I'll have to check. I might not be there yet. That's a good question. I better, well, let's see. I'm, I might be right on the cusp of 0.5. I'll have to check. So that's good. I even looked. I thought it was 0.1, but it's 0.5. So what is it that, uh, what's it at right now? As we watched, it's eh, 4,000, so I need at least 2K. Not bad. Not undoable, right? Not an, not, not an impossibility. All right, there's the rest of the coins. Even even Dogi coin and that ship, shippy thing. Those meme stocks, those meme stocks, those meme coins. All right, let's keep going. Oh, and basic, I want to mention this guy, basic attention token. If you're on the web and you, you do hate ads and you even watch YouTube, you don't want to watch any ads, get the Brave browser. It's built upon Chrome. And then what they do is they, you don't see any ads. You don't have to do anything. I go to YouTube, I haven't seen an ad at all. And then when I go to like another device where I don't use uh, Brave browser. Oh my God! Why are there commercials in these videos? This is horrible. So it's amazing. And then what happens? You get little notifications pop up for ads, and if you click on them, you get paid out in basic attention token bat crypto, and it goes into an uphold wallet, and then they pay you out, and they get something in that uphold wallet, and you accrue it. It's it's almost like you're getting paid to browse. It's the way it should be. Whereas you are rewarded for looking at ads versus being forced to watch them like on youtube and other sites it's kind of a nice deal so check out the brave browser sign up for their thing you just go up here to this thing this little triangle and then you can set up a 
uh, your wallet and stuff. It's real painless. It's it's a sweet thing. I've been on it for man, two years now. It's kind of it's you know you're not gonna get rich, but no wait I won't say that. Uh, I don't know what to say about that because I got in it was twenty cents. Then I sold what I had. This is this is me. Do the opposite of what I do right now. I sold it at twenty five cents and this thing shoots up to a buck. I'm like no. I just don't. I'm just really paranoid to even sell. So most times now, if I sell any crypto, it's been a while. I'll sell maybe half. That way I still have half on the table in case the thing takes off. You know, that makes sense. You got to take some profits now and then because um, if you're like me, you get in, you, you hold for a long time, you hold for a long time. It's going up, it's up and up. And then you're riding it all the way back down to the bottom. If it goes to the bottom, that's, I don't know. Don't be afraid to take profits and take a couple bucks out. You know, make sure it's long. I don't know. Go for long term gains. Don't do the short term. Go over a year, whatever it is. Uh, that's just, I don't know, that's just a strategy. Don't be afraid to take some profits because the way this crypto is, it's going to go down again like it is now and you buy back in and you compound it. You you know, high, low, it's hard to time, I know, but you just got to say, is it the right time to take profits? You say, okay, then you hold in the fiat or you pay your bills or you do whatever you got to do with it or then you can buy back in when it goes back down and I don't know, there's just so many strategies. I'm actually lazy sometimes, and I do hold, and I end up riding it to the bottom most times. I'm just, I don't know. I used to be so scared of the stupid tax crap. I said, screw it now. I'm just going to keep a record of everything. And most times you're making a loss, you know, whatever. Or if I sold a, a stock, you know, in the Dow, and, uh, you know, I lost some money, so what? I'll sell my crypto, and then that'll offset it, and I'll have zero. You know, you lose 7K, and then you make 7K on crypto, boom, zero, right? All right, here we go. Voyager earn program details. Two participant users must maintain a minimum monthly average balance. We talked about that. Rewards are calculated based on average daily holdings. Rewards are paid out at the uh, out in the reward bearing asset in the fifth business day of the month. Correct. Uh, rates are subject to change. They've been holding pretty steady for the few months. They've actually gone up. Uh, let's see. See below for an example. They give you an example. Here's an example. You go to the website. I gave you the link. Rewards. slash interest uh, let's see, earn, there's conditions, all this crap. But if you get in and you, like I said, buy the Voyager token, you actually become, they have tiers, right, of rewards. And then if you get to a certain level, like you said, they add on to the percentages you see right here. And it's a sweet deal. I don't know what else to talk about. I use it. I like it. You got to do your own research. Do your own uh, due diligence on anything anybody tells you on the internet and don't believe anyone on the internet because it's your money. Uh, here you go. You can read what it's about. They got a white paper. The site's not too bad. And let's see. There's an about. Oh, Kurt, we can get a good job there if you want a job. There's the app. Just go download it. Let's see. Oh, there's the loyalty program. Let's just see what that says. If this is a different. Take your crypto. Did we look at? There we go. This is the levels I was talking about. Tier one. I think I'm at. I have like 500. I bought it at. That was like two bucks. Now it's like at four or something. I think. So adventurer. So then you can go up, but you got to buy more stuff like that. And let's see. If you hold 500 plus VGX. And there you go. There's the boost I was talking about, right there. So. If you're getting 5.5 on Bitcoin, boom, boom, I just get six now. See how that works? I mean, jumping up to 5,000 Voyager, that's a big, I don't want to put that money in yet. So this is how it works, guys. It's not too bad. Uh, refer a friend, that's you, you're my friend. There you go, read that. This is why I'm pushing this because I think it's a great deal. Receive uh, Voyager rewards for each person you refer to Voyager. You'll both get $25 in Bitcoin. Once you sign up and trade their first $100, You'll also remember for rewards and VGX paid out at the middle. Yeah, I mean, you get 25 bucks just for signing up and, man, buying $100 in Bitcoin or something. Can't beat that. And then you're in the program. You always try it out. If you don't like it, whatever. Ready to get started. Go in there. You buy it. Not bad. Check it out. I like it. This is what I've been going by. And, again, I also have BlockFi. But I do not have – I think I have the majority in Voyager and – I have the BlockFi Visa card and I get rewards paid there. And then I have Coinbase where I take my uh, nice hash money and dump it there right now because it's free. But I get my Ether mine, Ether, Ethereum dumped to Voyager where I'm going to get that. I'm going to get, I'm getting that interest on Ethereum. 
So, and then the other stuff I buy outright with Fiat, uh, and on, on the exchanges, I have you know Coinbase and Voyager and other places and hard wallets, Exodus and stuff like that. Uh, there you go. Hope this helps. Hope this is information. I didn't know about this until four months ago. And I'm glad somebody told me about it and I checked it out. I was kind of doubtful at first. Just put a couple bucks in and played with it. Hooked into my bank account. And said, oh, all right. It's, they're doing what they say. All right, guys. Hope this helped. I go find that dog. Take him out. And uh, we'll talk to you all later. All right. I'm out. Boom.